So the surgical technique that I use is developed by Medtronic. The patient is placed on their side, on the bed, and then they're secured to the bed so that we know exactly their alignment front and back. A small incision is made on the side, typically the left side, but depending what you're doing, it can be done from the right also. You go through three layers of muscle, uh, either with scissors or even just a finger can often come through the muscle. And this image here shows you a cross section of the body and it kind of demonstrates the structures that you have to consider. You have the muscles of the abdominal wall and you come down to a large muscle next to the spine called the psoas where the nerves next to the spine can reside. And this is where we use the neurological testing to make sure that as we go through that muscle we're not disturbing any nerves. We then gently place a probe into the disc space and then use several dilators to make the incision bigger so that we can then put in a retractor and this is the retractor that we work with. So the incision really just needs to be big enough to accommodate this retractor. The retractor goes in and one of the nice safety touches of this procedure is first we check and make sure there's no nerves trapped by the retractor and then fix the retractor to the spine so that we know it's not going to move. And a small screw is just used to pin the retractor to the spine so that it doesn't move during the procedure and allow other structures to come into the surgical field where they might be injured. There's a light source that attaches directly to the retractor and then lets you see inside. And here you can see we're incising the intervertebral disc to remove the disc itself. And again, the disc is just a cushion in between the bones, which must be removed if you're going to fuse two bones together. The disc is removed in a piecemeal fashion, just taking out parts of it. And we'll then use various tools to kind of remove all the cartilaginous parts of the disc and just kind of scrape them off of the bone, but taking great care to preserve the bone. So we completely clean out the disc space, at least as completely as we can. You can see here also that you're working inside of the disc. You're not going out in front. In the front of the disc, which is to the left in this image, uh, there are blood vessels. And behind the disc, which is to the right in this image, are where the nerves are. So you want to stay within that disc space. This is the spacer that's filled with bone graft going in. And you can see how the spacer lifts the spine and corrects the alignment there. We then simply remove the retractor making sure as we pull out that there's no bleeding or other problems and the incision is closed. You can see here how the spacer is in good position and then in many cases we'll stabilize the spine from the back as shown here using screws but because we've got a very good fusion in the front the screws can be placed through minimal technique just through the skin.